Morning. I swear a lot. Hello, friends, and welcome back to Signalis. So, things, uh, you know, uh, took a direction. They took a direction last time, and now we're here. And wherever here is, is not exactly clear, because the game didn't say, oh, yeah, you're in Sierpinski, or you're in this room in Sierpinski. It's like, the game says I'm in... It doesn't know. It doesn't know. It's not aware. This might not even be real. Else to my already be dead. I don't actually know. All I do know is that whatever this likely man-made horror beyond our comprehension is, I'm gonna make it through. Because, uh, Elster has a fucking combat layout now. Seriously, the moment where she, like, cannibalized the other... I think it was an Elster unit, but I'm not sure. The, uh, yeah, she cannibalized it, took the arm, took the body armor. Was fucked up, obviously, but also really cool. I don't know, there's something really cool about it. Service request form. Uh, full protector ID, don't know. Full protector ID unit, don't know. Service object, uh, the wall safe. 4B, don't know. Wonderful. Can we even go to that classroom? Uh, I've got my pistol and my rifle on me at the moment. I don't actually have a lot of ammo, so I hope we pick some up. Oh, look, there's an enemy over there. That's an enemy, all right. We still have no map, which is just fucking wonderful. I'm really hoping this is going to be streamlined, because I don't navigate very well anyway, but off memory, it's even worse. What is this? Grenade shells, yes. Apparently you can shoot those out of the flare gun, which makes no fucking sense, but it's whatever. Here's the wall safe. Is this the same as it was at the start of the game, is the question. Let's find out. 204512. Okay. Uh, two, uh, yeah, thank you. 204512. I need to do that. It does work. Delightful. What's in here? A severed head? No. The key card, which I guess we do need. Classroom key. Alright, we probably need that, so wonderful. Good, great. I'm annoyed at myself because I didn't pick up the grenade shells before because most, mostly because I forgot, but I was also like, ah, I don't have a grenade launcher. What does it matter? I probably missed it. Uh, it turns out, no. Nah, I can totally use them. It's come to my attention for the protector wall safes. Any are to be interrogated until the culprit is found. I'm Adler. Does that mean anything? Probably not, but it's fun to read anyhow. Pop those in there. Keep classroom key on us. Do we have any of those delightful stumbaton sticks? I think I've used them all. Pretty sure. Yeah. All right, we'll have to sneak up on this guy and give him the old 2 one do one I've got a better idea, actually. Instead of using my pistol, which will probably take multiple shots, and I'd have to get close. Let's use this. Wait for the aim to go all the way in. Yeah, and kablams down. There's another one. Ah, there's a snoot head. There's a snoot head. Snoot head. Wasn't expecting snoot head. Okay, then. Well, I dealt with it. Fucking dark in here. Good thing we've got the flashlight. Oh boy. Oh, this is ominous. I appreciate how linear it is. I really. Hello, hello. You think I'm not ready for you? Oh, for fuck's sake, stop changing your aim. There we go. Think I'm not ready for you, squires? I got some double barrel goodness waiting for you. Oh yeah. Having said that, I've only got two sh two two rifle rounds left. Ugh, 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 ugh. They're fast. I'm not. Give me a moment to fucking aim, would you? Oh, thank you. God, that gun is good though, isn't it? No, I didn't want to go through. That thing is still on the floor. Are we going to get back up? No, stamp on it. God damn. It's probably going to get back up, isn't it? Yeah, it's back up. You suck. Fuck you. Ow. There we go. Wait, what? 
What hurt me? Why did I take damage? What is this? This is bullshit. What? What? What here hurt? Don't get. Stay away from that thing, I guess. For some reason, it still hurts me. Classroom key. I'm going to go back to the safe room because I don't have any ammo. I'm nearly dead. Are you guys just blocking the way? You're dead. You're, well, they're not dead. They're quote unquote dead, you know. But they're not active right now. Point is, I need more ammo. I also need healing items. If there's a boss fight down there, i got to deal with it. Should probably make sure I'm ready rather than not. You know how it is. I sure wish I had a fucking... The lock is defective. Okay, it's this way. Sure wish I had a fucking map. But then again, I don't think this place is entirely real. Pistol's got three rounds in it. May as well not bother. Take healing items. Uh, flare gun. With grenade shells. And a shotgun. Either we're not going to find Ariane, or we're not going to want to find her by the time we get to whatever state she happens to be in. This is what I suspect. Also, who the fuck is Alina? There's a hole in the ground. Looks like I can drop down safely. Yeah, let's do it. Please don't be a boss fight. Oh. You've changed. So have you, from the looks of it. Your head's a different shape. That's fucking spooky. You go away. Oh, that's Falk, I see. Ugh. Ugh, what happened to you? It's like everything was taken apart and put back together by someone who doesn't understand how it works. I have become whole again. You. I wear no mask. And I hate everything. Oh. Ooh. Perhaps this is hell. This space intentionally left blank. And now... Rot Front, which is a planet. I don't get it. I don't get it. Hey, Elster, how's it going? We weren't carrying the pistol, but we are now. Except we're not. We got the shotgun again. I also noticed last time in editing, uh, when Elster, you know, removes, cannibalizes uh, the other replica, at the very end of that sequence, there's a little message on screen that flashes that says, like, compartmentalizing trauma or something. So it's just like, yeah, pushing that deep down. Not going to think about that. Oh, this is actually a map. Holy shit. Oh, we have a map. We're actually in a place now. We have many different directions to go in, so we might not be done with this today, frankly. If this starts to open up properly. You're all different! You're all different! Don't like... Well, that's all my shotgun shells. I went to a good cause, which was killing people. I have one flare in this flare gun. That's quite good. What else is in here? Nothing. It's just a bunch of rooms. I wonder, are we running into, like, Gestalt? Well, there's no reason why we would only run into Gestalt's down here and not somewhere else. That computer looks normal, which is suspicious. 8mm ammo. New gun? Can I see what kind of gun it would go in? Small caliber, 8mm low recoil handgun ammunition. So a small pistol? As opposed to a big pistol? Or maybe a machine pistol. It looks like it's going to be a machine. It's a machine pistol. Fuck yeah, submachine gun. We can always appreciate a good submachine gun. It's one of my favorite guns in Helldivers, actually. The SMGs in that game fucking rule. An automatic submachine gun with a collapsible stock. Fires three round bursts of 8mm compact ammo from a 30 round magazine. Let's inspect it a little bit. 
Type 84 Drash, or Drash, I don't know. Despite the smaller caliber, burst fire allows for improved damage, especially when quick target acquisition is required. So it aims and fires quickly. Very nice. What is this? Ah, po lo I love computers that only have email inboxes and nothing else in them. Protector edition. Calibri, isn't it? Is that Calibri? Your re requisition request for a Type 84 submachine gun was successfully processed. And 120 ammo, we only found 30. Which means they've either used or moved the rest of it. The locksmith said it will take at least a period, but until the replacement key is done. My niece currently has the only other key, but she's still at the hospital right now. Camilla Young. Which is interesting. To the Blockwatts of Sector C, there are rumors that there is an Imperial spy active in your area. A Protector Special Operations Unit has been dispatched from Aeon Headquarters on Haymat to investigate and should arrive within 6 to 12 cycles. Needless to say, should they be successful, this will not reflect well on your record. You know what to do. Ugh. As every season, your performance will be subject to a review by local command soon. Remember, this review will determine if you will be marked for replacement. I understand you need entry to the bookstore for your patrol, but we do not have a spare key for the front door. However, you can use the back entrance to get into the store. It's secured with a keypad. The code is the birthday of my daughters. Note, they were born on Venita. Check the last six digits of their PKZ numbers. Kind regards, Anja Ito. Ito, whatever. Relocation. No. <laughs> okay. Download all. That's fun. I like that. I've stolen your information. Take that, whoever you were. Oh, thank fuck for this. Oh, thank fuck for this. No space to carry thermite flare. Yeah, we'll soon change that. Rot front. Is that implying that... Continue without saving. Yes, you will regret this later. Yeah, yeah. Um, so is Sierpinski on rot front then? Is that the idea? Or are we just somewhere else entirely now? I'm assuming this means that Sierpinski is on rot front. So, equip that real quick. Burn them. It sure is a room. With stuff in it. Maybe even a person, who knows. Grenade shells, yeah, I'll take it. Although, hello. I don't know if you want this, Squire. There's another one. I wasn't counting on there being another one and for them to trap me. Uh, revolver. That did him. Okay, all right. I think I need to like manually, hang on. I need signal flares. No, you don't. Combine with that. There we go. But we'll keep this for now, because may as well. Shot our pride shells, you absolutely love it, you do. Is this the part of the game where it's going to be like, these are actually real people and you've been fucking them up consistently? Whoops. Use that delightful, delightful repair patch. Keep myself going. This room seems pretty chill. What up here? How big is this area exactly? <laughs> Oh god, it's huge! Do you wanna fuck off, Squire? You're in both in such big trouble. Let me fucking show you the business, eh? You wanna see some business? How's this for business? Exactly what I thought. You're not even wriggling on the ground that fucked you up so much. I am, however, dying. <laughs> so I might want to go back downstairs and, I don't know, maybe get another repair patch, get some more ammo. Get my shotgun back out. That was a good time. We just got four shotgun rounds. Maybe we could use that. Why the fuck are grenades designed to be fired from a flare gun? Don't get me wrong, very convenient, but also very confusing. Not something one would initially assume. Though to be fair, if I just looked at the fucking ammo, I would have realized. But then again, I never picked it up, so I never could look at it which was pretty funny in retrospect. Well, I'm going to continue trying to explore the bottom level and just get all of that information together. Scout the whole place out. Pistol ammo, very handy. Oh, is that repair spray? Oh, you shouldn't have, but you did. Oh, make some space. Ah. 
It looks like there's a playing card embedded in the paint of the painting. The paint layer is too thick to remove the card without dissolving the paint first, so we need paint thinner. Okay, I'm sure this will help with our quest. Definitely. Nothing down here. There are pictures on the wall, though. Wish I could see who they were. Two ladies on there, I see that much. Or at least it's implied to be two ladies. Oh, let's have a look at this. Maybe this has information. Oh, it kind of does, actually. Hello. Oh god, it's a puzzle! No! What? Oh, jeez. Oh, I'll come back to that much later. Because I don't understand it even slightly right now. Unlocks from the other side. Don't worry about that right now. I sure as shit won't. Hello. Yeah, how about that? I think I forgot about you. I put them down. How many shells? Just one. More than enough to inconvenience anything that moves. I fear there are too many creepy crawlies in this place for me to deal with. Oh yeah, this is the place with the code. But I don't know uh, the codes for, his da for that person's daughters. So I don't know. I have no idea. I have to come back to it. Unlocks from the other side. Yeah, once we get in, we'll be able to get in. Once we get in, we'll be able to do... Yeah, once we get in, we can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I figured it out. Presumably, dormitories would be the place where I'd find out the necessary information. But I gotta get there first. In the meantime... What? I get the impression that's gonna hurt me. The way is blocked by a gas leak. I need a hand wheel to turn off the gas flow. Okay, cool. Quick and easy, simple discovering of the situation and what exactly will happen if I try. Very good. Happy with that. Can move on. I like it. Oh, piss. Okay, well, I need a new gun. That wasted my gun. Now I need a new gun. Because it turns out grenades are really strong. Grenades are very good against living things and or otherwise. And that's good. I like that. That's what I need. Everything will be fine. Can't go in through there. Just another bit of confirmation. Yep, need key. I suspect this door does not open. I am correct. This one does. What about this one up here? Yep. Oh, tube nose. Snooter. Snooter. I'm out. Oh, already out. No, I'm not a pistol slammer. I just wouldn't fire anymore. This is actually a good time for the grenade launcher. Stand back, stupid. Fucking warned you. Did I not? I didn't mean to leave, but here I am somewhere else. I am taking a lot more hits than I would like to be, I will say. Whose fault is that? It's mine. It's absolutely my fault. But, you know, just put it, put it out there. Thank God for rifle ammo. Hand wheel? Yes, please. A lot of ammo in here. Unlocks from the other side, naturally. Bunch of repair stuff. 12 millimeter. I'll come back up here immediately to grab the ammo and repair patches because I need this stuff. Mondfest celebrations cancelled over safety concerns. The seasonal Mondfest celebration, a young but well-established tradition in most rough front sectors, will not be allowed to take place until further notice, the Protector Public Office has announced today. There is a credible threat to public safety that is currently under pro Protector investigation. Citizens are only to leave home for work and report all suspicious activities to their block warden. When pressed about the rumors of an Imperial spy living in Sector C, the Protector Public Office only repeated their appeal to citizens to report all suspicious activities to a Protector. So, yeah. It's not going great, in general, I suppose. What concerns me, though, is that I just don't think this is Siapinski. It might be. It might just be like, you know, the... A surface area or perhaps an area close to it or something, but I feel like I'm not even sure if Sierpinski is on rot front. It's implied that it is, and if it is, then fair enough, but 
Nothing's act unless I am missing something massive. There is nothing that has outright confirmed that fact. Now I assume it is the case because why why would they teleport us to a different planet? That'd make no fucking sense. So I assume this is in fact, you know, Sipinski. I assume uh, Sipinski is in fact on rot front, but I don't know that for certain yet. It's not been confirmed. I don't know. Oh, come on. I can't take hurt damage from a corpse. It's not fair. Stop. Am I going to take damage from these two as well? No? For some reason? I'm glad I didn't, but... It's confusing and inconsistent. Bothers me. I hope this game's endings aren't based on time cleared, because uh, I'm going to get a shit ending purely on the basis of taking for fucking ever. Because I'm slow and bad at these... We all know this to be true. It's okay. I can admit my failings. Start bringing the rifle now. We've got four shots of it. That's pretty good. Maybe this whole thing was just caused by a gas leak. Use hand wheel. You know it. Get fucked, gas. Idiots. What do you even do? Nothing. Waste of time. Spare me. This room's awful. This just sucks. Blue diskette. Yes. Ooh, revolver ammo. I do love it, though. You know I do love me some revolver ammo. Who would throw out a perfectly good box of revolver ammo? Unbelievable. You could do so much rooting and tooting with it. Such rooting and tooting potential completely wasted. Upsetting. Now, we got a diskette. Can we put it in this PC? Yes, we can. Select an item to use. Uh, blue diskette. A blue magneto optical data storage diskette for use in office computers. Yes. I hope it has Doom on it. Yeah. Use blue. Ooh, we have new things. Antenna, transmit, Ausrix. This looks like it needs to be read first. Read me. Yeah. Due to the power rationing, only a limited number of antennas in the grid are powered at a time. To determine which antennas are currently powered, use the antennae program to triangulate the correct antenna. Take note of the antenna where the test signal can be heard on both sides. In the transmit program, enter the antenna number and select the correct sound file to broadcast. Oh my god, this sounds beyond me. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Uh, 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 I don't want to. No, no, none of that. No, I'm good. Thank you. Hard pass. That is the most horrifying thing I've seen in this game. <laughs> Holy shit. No. <laughs> I'm good. Let's keep exploring. Now, as chances are, puzzles like that are in fact just like, you know, logic situations wherein I need to look at it and figure it out. But I've always been under the assumption that, like, there is probably some context that will make this a lot easier somewhere in this level. So I will continue to explore until I have nowhere left to go before I start trying to deal with shit like that. Because fucking hell. No way. I can't believe you didn't get hit. Quick, 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 quick. Gotcha. Fucking snoot nose. Oh god, that one got back up. Stolen document? Classified information, replica, technician gestalt, eyes only. Carefully selected by Aeon, exemplary, exemplary citizens of the nation are permanently cryogenically preserved in neural archives, each becoming a neural pattern for a new replica model. To preserve the image of the replica as an incorruptible ideal, the original gestalt is erased from records and public memory. Right. During the production process, when experienced bioresonant technicians copy that neural pattern to a new unit, a majority of episodic memories are altered and suppressed. While the resulting replica ma maintains the skills and personalities of the original Gestalt, it will be incapable to recall specific events from the life of the donor under normal circumstances. This ensures the replica performs its duties without distractions created by personal memories of the donor. However, even the best maintained replica unit will eventually be exposed to stimuli that may cause gestalt memories to resurface. While units degraded in such a way pose no particular danger, like all units with persona degradation, they will eventually lose many of their advantages over gestalt workers. Because persona degradation is usually difficult to identify from the outside, bioresonance is used by command units to survey units under their command. Generally, it is recommended to swiftly decommission and replace units before their productivity decreases or they begin to show clear signs of individuality. When ammunition is rationed, alternative ways of decommissioning may be deployed at the discretion of local operational command. So this leads into the stuff we saw aboard before, uh, in terms of the descriptions of each individual, you know, replica type. 
about like, you know, the fetish objects and things they need to be kept away from to maintain their persona as a replica and to not remind them of their gestalt origin. So that all makes sense to me. I had to read it under a little bit of pressure because a snoot nose was attacking. I was a little concerned. Is this the thing? This is the thing. So are we in the spy's apartment right now? Because that was a stolen document. That was stolen. They nicked it. Not that. This. Developing tank. Yes. Can that be used to melt paint? I don't fucking know. I've never had to melt paint before. I've never... Y oh, piss. Piss that you are. Shit. I can't go through there. Ow. I didn't know this. Yowch. I was kind of hoping there'd be some iframes on that on that execution, but no. Okay, this has to work. This has to work. This has to work. It did. Thank fuck for that. Down you go. A plastic container for developing photographs. Its label indicates that an undeveloped photo is inside. There's something written on it as well. Opening it right now would destroy the photograph inside. I need to add some developer fluid first. I have no idea what that says. God damn it. Fuck's sake. It's not active. It's dead. Stop hurting me. I think it's because I'm literally walking over the weapon, which counts as a hurt box for some reason, which is stupid. Very dumb. It's probably the dumbest example of contact damage I've seen thus far. And before you set up and go, but Foreman, they're technically still alive. Yes, they're still alive, but they're incapacitated. They can't do anything. Not until they wake back up. Do you see how I won that argument by by, by making your voice sound dumb while mine sounds smart? Yeah, tried and true trick over centuries, millennia even. Used to disguise the fact that I myself might be stupid. No one can possibly know that. No one can prove it either. It's not as if there's video evidence on the internet of such a thing. No way. Bow before my superior intellect that is definitely there. Shut up. Didn't brute force a puzzle like the episode before last and completely fuck up an entire sequence. <laughs> no. No, that didn't happen. Why would you think that it did? Go back and check. I've already deleted the video. <laughs> it just goes from part three to part five. Like all good series do. Stay down, you fuckers. Oh god, no. 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 You will not. You will stay down and you'll like it. There's definitely going to be enemies in this room. This is also a really long way room. Oh, I didn't want a long room. I didn't want a long room. I wanted to... Fuck me. No, 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 no. Shit. Ooh. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Blam! I said pow! How you like me now? I got one for you as well! Yeah! This is an hospital, definitely. Is that... Ooh, auto injector, good. We were running out of healing items. I know where, yeah. We got flare shells, which are very useful. I can't pick up any of this stuff. We'll have to go back, but that's fine. Quickly investigate this room, because I was rudely interrupted by some absolute fucking losers. I wish I had more thermite shells. I really do. See, that looks like ammo, but it's not. Uh, I can't grab it. It makes me sad. I wish I could... I, wish, I just wish I had more ammo. I just always wish I had more ammo. It would be useful. I would like it. I would appreciate it. We can't do anything with the photo tank until we find developer fluid, so we'll just have to leave it here for now. I'll bring the flare gun, because if we run out of revolver ammo, we could fire a quick grenade and then run away. It's getting pretty fucking tense. I do appreciate a bit of the return to the survival horror idea, though, with a map. Like, don't get me wrong, I understand why they took the map away before, and I appreciated it. Like, it definitely added to the tension. But having it back, like, giving us a proper survival horror area to go through once again, and giving the map back, is crucial. If they'd given me this area with no map, we'd be here for ages. Because my ability to memorize paths is woeful. Now, if I was playing on my own and not doing commentary, I could probably remember a bit better because I could devote my, you know, brain power to it. But here, my attention is kind of split because I'm trying to talk as well. So trying to do that and remember my way through this place would be nightmarish. Teacher's evaluation, Ariane Young. Oh, 
The girl, without a doubt, is remarkably odd due to her tendency to fuck robots, uh, certainly due to her being raised solely by her mother rather than by a community of good people overseen by a block warden as is normal these days. Her obsession with paintings, music, and other such nonsense was clearly implanted during her time living in the mountains on that desolate radio outpost, and surely her friendship with those Venetian-born Itu sisters also exposed her to some of the questionable literature that is illegally sold in their parents' bookstore. She does not seem to understand that these distractions are no longer acceptable now that she must partake in the society of our nation like anyone else. Personally, I can only hope military service will beat those frivolous ideas out of her in a way that this school has failed to do so far. Dear me. Isn't it nice when the people rise up and devise new means by which to oppress its populace? There's a picture of a magpie on the box above what looks like a small speaker or a microphone. So a radio thing, yeah. Well, I don't know how to do that yet, so whatever. Also, magpie. Isn't an, aren't Elster units considered magpies? Isn't that our, like, nickname? Or, like, quick classification? I don't know what the term would be. Okay, well, uh, uh, it's gotten scary now, because I think I've run out of places to check, which means I now have to start solving some of these puzzles, which I really don't want to do. Oh, piss. Question is, which one do I solve first? It's got to be either that nonsense on the computer. I'll tell you what we could just do. Right. This is clearly radio based, so why don't we just fuck around with the radio for a bit? A few moments later. Interesting. I definitely heard some numbers in there, but couldn't quite. I couldn't translate them quick enough. Like, by the time I was translating one number, we were already two numbers ahead. I'm going to turn this off for a moment because it will drive me insane. Me personally, not Elster. Um, I'm guessing really all this radio frequency stuff is something we're going to want to go work on the office computer with, with that diskette we put in. As little as I want to even interact with that puzzle, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. We have no context to allow for easier solving of that puzzle that I'm aware of, so we simply got to go deal with it. But I at least feel good to have explored the entire area before attempting this because... You know, if there was some kind of easy solution that I was missing, I'd feel very stupid. So, yeah. Let's go have a look, shall we? Okay, uh, fuck. <laughs> Set your radio to frequency 125. Can do that, I suppose. Okay. I've done it. I see, right. So we presumably move this until we hear something. Interesting. Okay. And presumably we can do something with that, but let's sort out this one, which is 210. Spooky! Radio noises are spooky! Okay, so 43 is the place. It's the right one. It's the thingy. That's the one. How did I do? What did I do? Oh my god, it's like I'm playing a fucking Daisy's PC game. Something's about to kill me. Magpie. 43, send. Okay, so we gotta go get to the box. I think I figured it out. Don't worry, guys. I think I got 
fucking shit, that fucking knife on the fucking floor, fucking... Ugh. I couldn't feel good for one moment about using my brain to engage with a puzzle and solve it because I stepped on a knife. Can you believe I got copyrighted in the last vi video for like signal noises at one point and when I was like, hey, this is just a part of gameplay, you know, it's not even really a song, can I have my ad rad revenue please? The original claimant was like, no. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, fuck you then, I guess. There we go. I think it was exactly this fucking signal as well. Storky. Star. On that note, I'm going to turn the fucking radio off so they don't steal my money again. So what is Star? A tarot card? A tarot card? A tarot card depicting the 17th Major Arcanum, Star. But to what end? Well, obviously I can't use it, but... Yeah, it sure is Star. Okay. And then the store key, which we can use to get into the store. I'll piss on- No, oh, just go away. Take your knife and fuck off. I hope the next game we play has less puzzles, but if it's out of wilds, I don't think it will be. <laughs> I think it'll have more puzzles. I sure hate puzzle. Ooh, ultraviolet room. Disinfection room. Hence the ultraviolet light, I suppose. Acetone. Well, it reminds me what that does. I'm used to dissolve and clean up plastics, epoxies, and paint. Okay, wonderful. We can go get that card then. Let's go do that now before we forget. And we can get rid of an item and have space in our inventory for other goodies and stuff. Just like Toriel always said, you'll want to make sure you have room in your pockets for cool stuff like funny looking rocks or shinies. God fucking damn it. She didn't say that bit. Used acetone? Yes. Used acetone. Wonderful. Pick up lovers. Yes. Got the lovers card. Lovers. Indeed. See, this is what leads me to believe that all, most of this, what is happening right now, is probably in Elster's head, because that looks like... One of them at least looks like Elster. So what up with that? Bit of a coincidence, don't you think? This door is defective. Excellent. I love to see it because it means there's less places to explore, which I like having places to explore, but it narrows down my options, which I appreciate. I love the stun prod. What is this, even? The meat grinder seems to be broken. It looks safe to drop through. Uh, I'll come back to you on that. On that. Oh, there's nowhere else to go. I'm going to save first. I know, I know. It's a cop out, but I'm going to save. <laughs> In real life, if you had to drop into a meat grinder, but you also had the option to save beforehand, wouldn't you fucking save beforehand? You would. You would. Because it's a meat grinder. What if it turned back on? Randomly. What if Adler was like, nah, 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 I've hacked into the system, because that's his voice, uh, and turned it back on as I was dropping through? I know I'm biomechanical, so there's some robot pieces in there as well, but I'm also still bio, so there's a plenty of meat to shred. Or grind, as it were. I don't really want to... I don't want that. I, I just don't, alright? I just don't want to be grinded, okay? I'm not on grinder. It's not something I've, I've asked for. Time to drop down. Fuck it. Zan. Yeah, she got ill. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, she definitely got ill. We're in the cooler. There's a lot of meat in here. And there's some music playing. Public house. Yeah, it certainly seems that way. They've got more fans here than I do in my house. I'll take a repair spray. Why not? Until I find another uh, save point, I'm going to need everything I can get my hands on. 8mm ammo, well I can't use it right now anyway, but I'll have to remember it's there, because I could definitely do with more of it. Oh god no, not this f- Ah oh, god, ah oh, jeez. 144 I think it said? Why have we immediately walked into the fuck pit? Down you go. I said down you go. Do you want to fuck off, Squire? Fuck's sake, no. 
No! You know what? Fuck it. You wanna fucking go? Let's go! How about some of that? You think Foreman's here to fuck around? Was there a shadow person in the wall? I'm dying. That looks like a shadow person in the wall. Um, okay, well that was my one grenade. Oh boy, hey, more stun prods, hooray! Ooh, hey, oh, hey! Hey! Where is the save point? I fucking need one! <laughs> Real bad! Thank you! <laughs> patient key? Yeah, I'm very patient. Kinda real bad, nearly fucking died, don't know if you noticed. I hate Calibris in their infected forms. They're actually one of my favorite um, replica ideas outside of infection. I think they're very cool. But as enemies to fight, they're fucking annoying. All right, well, despite everything, I did survive. Can't be stopped. Still can't be stopped. They think they can stop me, but they're wrong. I see pride shells in the bottom right. I do. Millions starve as Imperial blockade continues. Due to the ongoing transit of Kitej, ration shipments to Venita have been disrupted by Imperial forces again. Millions of Yuzan citizens must starve for yet another month as Imperial missile frigates in Kitej, in Kitej orbit crit critically damaged one of our humanitarian convoys on their way to Venita, sending diplomatic efforts with the Empire into another crisis. The orbit of Kitej will continue to block free travel between Venita, Rotfront, and Haymat for another eight seasons, which leaves our liberation troops on Venita stranded on the desolate ocean world with minimal support. Convoys will continue to be sent despite the Imperial blockade. Only through perseverance can we rebuild what remains of Venita. So the war is going pretty fucking rough. General misery for everyone involved. Pride shells, I love it. You know what? This, uh, this faction wouldn't be out of place in Warhammer 40k, honestly. They'd fit right in. Would they, would they survive? Probably not. I saw that. Excuse me. I, I saw it. I'll regret many things later. But that's why it's for later, not right now. Okay, well I'll start by exploring through here because it's a waste. Oh, please tell me this leads back upstairs. Also, goddamn, I needed more revolver ammo. Also, I'm just getting a lot of ammo in general, really. Ooh, this is the alleyway. Oh, fuck. Don't even fucking bother. Last warning. Okay. There are more of you than I initially expected. Ow. Alright, tell you what. You wanna fucking go? Ouch, gonna run through, don't mind me. Yeah, you go down. You go down, you stay there. This SMG is pretty fucking good. It goes through ammo like a motherfucker, but it's good. Okay, these things could have gone better. I'll admit it. I'm the first to admit it. It could have, could have gone better. The Red Eye. There exists a strange folklorish idea in many sectors of rock fronts related to pareidolia. The tendency to see meaningful images in random patterns, like seeing a face in an ink blot or letters in a smudge of dirt. It is well known that the so-called Red Eye is simply an anti-cyclonic storm produced by a high-pressure region in the atmosphere of Rotfront's planet. Yet for some of the early settlers of Rotfront, this natural phenomenon became symbolic of their struggle and way of life. That red spot in the sky became a perfect metaphor for the ever-present surveillance by the protectors and the tight grip of the central government on Hymat. Even today, the idea of an unblinking, watchful eye observing their every move still resonates strongly with the people here. What could possibly lead them to think that way? During the celebration of Monfest at the end of each season, adult citizens will sometimes give students ration marks that have been dipped in red paint. Officially, the red paint is said to represent the blood of those who died in the revolution, but the red coins share an eerie resemblance to that red eye, or is this just pareidolia too? Should you ever receive one of these red eye ration marks, remember to clean off the paint with acetone or a similar paint thinner. Spending or regifting paint covered coins is considered to bring bad luck. Maybe don't dip your money in paint. I don't know. Just putting it out there. Unlock the door. Wonderful. Which leads to the commercial corridor. Yeah. Ah. Bit more to explore in this area, I see. Oh, piss the fucking. <sighs> I think it was 98. Pretty sure. No, no, no. I wanted this. Thank you. So I could deal... Deal... Can you fuck off for a minute? Can you fuck off for a minute? Let's say I knew we'd find you eventually. 
Little fucker. Yeah, that nearly killed me. Hey, a stun prod. That's fucking useful, he said. <laughs> Disinge- Very, very, very facetiously. They are useful, just not right now. Just not right now. Vida Verlingung. Um jeden Preis. You reunification. Reunification at any cost. Orbital Defense Cannon Battery Venita 12. Boyan and Kentej in our crosshairs. Artillery divisions of the People's Army. I dare say. It's not really going well for anyone, is it? Let's be honest. Got 15 rounds left in the submachine gun. Oh, piss. Oh, God. Oh, she's so sluggish. Fuck off, will you? Okay, well, I've got six rounds of this left. Let's do this carefully, shall we? Okay, right, well, this is, uh, this... Th 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 okay, you went down. No, I don't want to go through that. Got you. Come on, quick, 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 quick. Go, 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 go. Go, kill, 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 kill. I don't, I don't think I have any more stun pot, uh, door. I have one. I have one. I have one. Shit, I didn't think you were going to get back up. I'm officially out of countermeasures. So yep, that's everything. Okay, all right. Well, ee, woo, ee, woo, woo, ee, ee, woo. Oh, I'll go through here. Great ammo for a gun I don't have. Thermite flares, wonderful. Can, can I get a healing item, please? Bioresonance technology and its limitations. No other technology has shaped our nation as bioresonance has. Would we have ever been able to free ourselves from the stranglehold of the Empire without the support of replicas? Essential technologies like clima forming and induced gravity would be impossible without bioresonance technology. Despite that, it feels like we've made very little effort to really understand or replicate bioresonant effects with conventional technology. Our progress in the development of electronics and microprocessors has stagnated for nearly a century now as we focus solely on new ways to instrumentalize this barely understood phenomenon. Take replica production, for example. The process of duplicating a neural pattern from a gestalt donor, gestalt donor to a replica brain is still not fully understood. How does synchronicity happen? Why is the duplicate imperfect? What happens to pre-existing patterns in the receiving brain? Recreating a replica purely with microprocessors and digital programming may be far out of reach, but I believe that we've become overly dependent on a poorly understood technology controlled solely by a few gifted individuals. It may not be long before we're back where we were under the Empire. Looks like you're already there. Honestly, there was a bird in this room. I saw it. Elster. Interesting. But that's not the... Oh. <sighs> well, I don't really know what that'd be. So I'm going to have to leave it. What is this? Butterflies. Paradolia. Yeah, that's phenomenon we were just talking about prior. I need to get out of here and get back to my box. Luckily, that one doesn't know I'm here. Okay, so the good news is, is we've cleared out a bunch of the threats of this. Oh, you can. No, 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 no. Thank you. We've cleared out a bunch of the threats. Problem is, some of them keep getting back up. Um, do not stand on the knife. Uh, but there's many more places to explore, and we're not flush with resources, like, we're doing okay. We've still got ammo, but healing items is definitely becoming an issue, because I keep taking hits. It's becoming quite dangerous. Let me quickly take stock of what we actually have now. Put revolver away, put machine machine gun away, rifle ammo, put it away, thermite. So we've got some repair spray. That's all for healing, one thermite. Uh, a smattering of pistol ammo, some shotgun rounds, some flare shells, one grenade shell, two rifle ammo. Okay. Right, well, we'll have to see what we can do with all of that next time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. 
it's get it's just it's progressing things are going on i don't know what the deal is here to be honest i still don't even know if sierpinski is on rot front i once again assume that it is but i don't know I don't even know if we're in Sierpinski by this point. I, no one has mentioned the words Sierpinski since we got here. Which leads me to believe, a little theory I came up with over the process of this, is that a lot of what's going on here, the psychological aspects, actually stem from Elster's persona degradation. It's singly possible we're not here at all, but this is a facility that Elster was in when she was a gestalt, perhaps? A lot of this is in her mind. I don't know, obviously. Or I'd have more for you than that. <laughs> but I don't know. Now, most of you do actually know, so you'll know whether or not that's true. But, uh, I, point is, I'm still unraveling this mystery with all the hidden secrets wrapped inside of these riddles. And, uh, it's quite enjoyable. So I'm looking forward to doing it next time. Thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to Cuds, Kane of Samaria, Poe, Porkchop Labrack, Scrubby Doo, Lifesteal, Zachary, Unclever Name, Crystallite, Summer Cat, Flanny, Painter Dragoon, Lyle the Hack Sire, Lip Potatoes, Proxy, Kamenera, Moa, Heartland, Harak J, Dresso, Slol, Final Legend, Etherbin, Linky, Zeon Cedar, Bimblewort, Majoko, Mymoon, Alkir, Honey Lawless, Sweet Baby Red, Jess Kitty, Plutonium Pie, Dream of Ghost, Lepa Lullaby, K Bub, Magical, The Frostbite, Monsoon, SCP 106A, Namad, and K. 800 for support me on patreon thank you so much guys and thank you all so much for watching yeah no the area is getting quite treacherous the puzzle wasn't as bad as i thought but when i first looked at it i wanted to cry you know the one with the the frequencies and triangulating the position of the tower yeah no first time i saw that i was like nah fuck this and that might be the case with me with a lot of the puzzles where i look at it and just go oh fuck this no i don't want to deal with it it looks awful and then they're actually not that bad, but that's just me. That's just what I'm like. It's why I'm so bad at puzzles, I think, because I put them off. But when I actually attempt them, they're not so bad. But we'll see. There's still more game to go. There's still more puzzles to do. And I suspect I'm going to get stumped more than a couple times. But we've still got areas to explore, so we're still not stuck on a puzzle, as it were. Progression right now is not solely dependent on a puzzle. We've still got more areas to explore. So that's cool. Uh, I hope it goes well. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. But I suspect we're coming to the end of the game. Ish. Like, not actually like, oh, next time the game will be over. But I definitely feel like we're getting there. You know? We're also not in Sierpinski anymore, I swear. But whatever. Thank you so much for watching. What happens next time? Whatever happens next time. I hope I see you there. Doodles. Goodbye.